the kinds of things that we look for in typical kids as they're growing up, and these things often are um, problem areas for kids on the autism spectrum, things that parents come to us saying, hmm. So we expect kids to make great eye contact with people they love and live with and smile at them. Mm -hmm. We expect them to babble and use words. We expect them to turn around, you know, to turn their head quickly when someone calls their name to see, hmm, who wants my attention? Who's looking for me? Uh, to point, actually pointing, you know, with their index finger to indicate shared interest, like, mom, look at that bus, look at that ambulance. They want your attention on something that's of interest to them, mm -hmm. a critical skill. Um, shared interests, and just a wish generally to be, to be connected, to be a social person, to be connected to other people. Mm -hmm. These are important parts of social development and areas that children who end up with a diagnosis on the spectrum often have difficulty. So you're saying something as simple as noticing that a child never, you know, things that we take for granted, like look at that, look at that, yes. might be something that a child on the autism spectrum just doesn't do. Doesn't do, right. Okay. And there might be this kind of sense of like, Something seems funny or different. I'm worried, but you can't put your exactly. You know, yeah. yeah. And, when now, silent. When you say wish to be connected, what do mm -hmm. you mean by that? Well, that you know, most kids, it's just natural for typically developing kids mm -hmm. to um, want to connect with other people. They okay. don't like to be by themselves. Oh, they want, you know, okay. it's it's sort of painful for them to be left by themselves. Whereas for um, kids on the autism spectrum, sometimes it's not so painful, and that is a concern. Okay. Okay. These are the three areas that we look at when we evaluate a child for autism. Mm -hmm. And a child would have to have area, uh, some difficulty in all three of these areas for us to really think, hmm, maybe he actually does have a diagnosis on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. The first is communication. Does the child use words to communicate? Mm -hmm. That's one question. And then another is, what about nonverbal communication, like gestures, like pointing, like clapping, like shrugging, like, mm -hmm. you know, turning their head no or a yes, those okay. kinds of things, in, you know, nonverbal communication. Number two is social interaction with others. If it's a three-year-old, for example, is he interested in playing with other kids at preschool? Does he want to get down on the floor with the Brio trains and make a station and make a game out of it that yeah. involves turn-taking and, and playing with other kids? Mm -hmm. And the third is if a child has very restricted interests, is really only interested in those Brio train tracks and nothing else, mm -hmm. or only interested in something that's kind of unusual, for example, a vacuum cleaner, or a CD or a tape, mm -hmm. or something that isn't huh. even thought of as a toy, but kind of an unusual object, and that's the focus of his attention most of the time, those, those would be areas that we would consider concerning for a okay. diagnosis along the spectrum.